Joseph House Community Outreach Center, in partnership with Friends Help a Friend, the Helping Hands Foundation, invite you to a special Pantry Day event hosted by Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and Harris County Commissioner Adrian Garcia. This event will provide free COVID testing for those who need it, provided by our friends at United Memorial Medical Center, who can be found at www.ummc.care. This event will take place on Thursday, October 22nd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Joseph House Community Outreach Center, located at 7802 Jensen Drive here in Houston, Texas. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I feel fine. Why should I get a test? Well, if we've learned anything, it's that you don't have to feel sick or even have a fever in order to either contract or spread COVID-19. So please, do what you can to look out for yourself, your loved ones, as well as your community, and come out on Thursday and get a test. This event is held on a regular pantry day, so you will still get a box filled with all your favorite food necessities to help get you through these trying times. That said, there are some things you will need to know prior to showing up and do in order to help us help you. To keep things organized and help people as quickly as possible, we will have two lines, one for pantry service only and the second for COVID testing and pantry service. When you're near our gates, please specify to our staff which services you intend to receive so that you may be directed to the correct line. Also, if you have insurance, you must bring your insurance card with you and provide the information on it to our partners at United Memorial Medical Center, who will be on site providing the COVID testing. Rest assured, you will not be charged anything out of pocket for this test. If you do not have insurance, you can still show up and get tested. You will not be charged anything either. That about covers it. On behalf of Joseph House Community Outreach Center and Friends Help a Friend, the Helping Hands Foundation, as well as our esteemed hosts, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and Harris County Commissioner Adrian Garcia. We look forward to seeing you here. We don't just give a little small bag or a small box. We make sure that they taken care of at least for two weeks until they can come back again. Here at Living Water Ministries, Pastor Stearns is extending a helping hand to governmental workers in need through his nonprofit organization called Joseph's House. When I begin to see that the government shut down and that I begin to hear the cry of the people saying what we're going to do, how they have to go into their savings and how they have to take from their college funds for their kids. I say, oh, God, OK, now nah, I need to step up for them also. Now, Pastor Stearns has been making nonstop trips to prepare for government workers who need help. This is our fourth trip concerning that to make sure that we are ready for them. And uh, after this trip here, we'll be well and ready. To collect groceries and many other home appliances, Pastor Stearns and his small team make about 15 trips per week from Jensen all the way to Baytown, Kima, and Liberty, Texas. As you can see, the church cup runneth over with food, clothing, and cleaning supplies. But unfortunately, they're running into a problem where they're running out of space to store all their goods. Now the items are overflowing to the outside and to protect the goods from being damaged or stolen, the church is in serious need of donations to change this carport behind me into a storage shed. A 24 foot bobtail truck would also be a big help to safely transport larger items and instead of using their neighbor's forklift, which is not always available, a forklift to call their own would also help out. And that's what we try to really accomplish. It's not always easy to do so much with so little, but the devil is a lie if he thinks Pastor Stearns and his team is going to give up. And I had no other choice. So I'm doing what I'm doing because this is what I was called to do. This was all I wanted to do, and I have a passion to do it. Joseph's house already serves 600 a day when they open up to the homeless, and Pastor Stearns hopes to help the same amount of government workers, if not more. You don't have to be feel shame because everybody go through something. We just know that you can come here and get blessed. You hear it? The devastation area where the blast took place. This is some of the damage that was caused by that blast. 
here with the Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, uh, trying to do what, what we can do, or part um, with Red Cross is out here somewhere. The, the fire department, the police chief, he's still out here. Um, it's just a, a lot that's going on here that we're trying to see that what kind of help that we could bring. What do you, what do you think about this? Process? It's awesome. I mean, it's amazing the, what the damage that is done. Some of the homes, the windows blowed out, structure. If you're turned tired, that's a good structure. It's just devastating. The devastation of an individual being sleep when this happened is devastation. We're just trying to get here to be do be, be help to the Let's community. go over there and help them yes. with the police chief yes. and them over here. Good morning again, uh, Armando Wale. I'm with uh, Miss Harris, Yoruba Harris, always uh, my good friend. But look, we are at, um, for those of you guys that know about Northeast Houston, I know you probably need to answer that, Pastor, but but Pastor um, uh, Stearns, introduce yourself. Tell us what we're doing, what you got here, and then we'll, we'll go out there and tell folks okay. what you're doing right, later. Pastor Stearns with Living Waters is Joseph House uh, Pantry. Uh, here, is, in this area here, is our automotive section uh, for those who the elderly or the handicapped who cannot afford to get their oil changed, need some help with some fluids. Oh, we, we would turn around and we send someone out to change the oil or change the fluid. Or okay. they can come by and get it done. Okay. Uh, so you see we have all the different oils. Yeah, motor oil, antifreeze. antifreeze. And and you accept donations, right? We accept donations. Okay. Then you have the brake fluid. Brake fluids. The races, the de -ices. A lot of lubricants yes. and the... All the lubricants they need for the, for the car. Okay. Um, then, then we have the uh, lawnmowers. Okay. We have the weed eaters. Uh, we have uh, the blowers, power washers. Uh, we even have new locks for them. Uh, they need to change their locks at their homes. Okay. We have that. We have that available for them. We have the living stuff. Okay. Uh, these are, these are, uh, we own these. Okay. Okay. So big trailers that you're able to uh, go pick up stuff and bring them back here uh, to, or deliver stuff to people that that really need it. Okay. So tell us what we're here to do. I see some bikes. I see a, a line of cars out, Jensen and Cross Timbers. Okay. And we've already registered over a thousand kids. A thousand kids will get their uh, bikes or their presents today. 
Okay. And so that's what this is about. Okay. And, and they're getting a variety of that. So it's just not the kids, but the adults who need something. And they're right. Able to get some, they are on the list also. Okay. And the seniors. Also. And, the and seniors. seniors. And the veterans. Good. Does he follow me this way? Yes. This area right here is our area of testing area. And as, as the product comes in, we test this, we test the product right here. Okay, Ca quality control. Quality control. <laughs> sure Gotta make stuff works. Make, make sure it works. Make sure that we don't give them nothing that's broken or not working. Okay. That right there is Bobo, we call him Anthony. He's, hey. one, he's over this area right here. Okay, good, hey, good. Okay, we're going this way. This is the area where we come in, we bring it in here, and then we take it over there to be done. Okay. So now when you're looking at now is when everything is corrected, that's good, mm -hmm. bring them in and put them in stock. Here you see baby diapers. We got strollers. Mm. You just got a lot of supplies that people yeah. would, would need. We got cleaning supplies. We have the blankets. We got blankets down there. We have even we want to help all of our baseball fleets. Brand new. So for kids, for they kids. want to want to play baseball they that don't baseball. that don't their mom or dad don't Can have enough. It. Cannot afford it. We, we, we got it. That's wonderful. And we have the, we have the helmet to go with it. Okay. Got you. Uh oh. So you're able. You have the capacity to take um, product. Check it out, make sure it's still okay in good condition, and then turn around and, and give it out to the community. Okay. You see the confirmation of the carrots. You see the blenders. Mm hmm You see the microwaves. Air fryers. Cookers. Mm. Burners. Refrigerators. Refrigeration. And freezers. Freezer. Yeah. 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 You see the refrigerators over here. You see water coolers over here, purifiers, air conditions. All you got here. it. Then you have the, those that need light bulbs. We can do the light bulb, mm. TV remote, stuff like that. And then the, the gentlemen that work in the warehouse here. Uh, oh, you got mattresses. mattresses. Oh, you got ceilings. <laughs> yeah, see. the ceiling. Nice ones. <laughs> Around here, you'll, you'll see the fans for the summer, drawers. Here are the, 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 the vacuum cleaners. That we, that we offer. Okay. So for those that are watching, we're at Living Water, uh, Joseph House Community Center with Pastor Stearns here over off of Cross Timbers and Jensen. Um, and uh, it's a warehouse. It, it, it looks like it would have been an old automotive uh, <laughs> uh, warehouse, but um, you've actually built this up, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Here we, we even have plates. Uh, I can get in there. Oh, plateware for people, dinnerware. Yeah, right, right. Dinnerware. This is dinnerware. Okay, no, don't open that. We don't want, we want, we want. Dinnerware. We okay. have the, the lamps up there. The, 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 the curtain rod, mm -hmm. shelving, all that's, all that's here. Mini blinds, all that's here. And okay. Right here you'll see the clothes for the kids. Okay. You'll have boy wear, girl wear, all the way through here. You'll see the different, different type of wear we have. All the way through. Yeah, because you got to separate all this stuff exactly. when you get it. <laughs> it Dinner takes a lot of power. Of we mm. have the toilet tissues. We have the sheets, the bedding. All this is, is sheets and bedding mm -hmm. cases. And over here is a lot of nothing but school supplies. Wow, wonderful. All the way through. Wonderful. Do you, um, obviously, you, you um, is, uh, if somebody wanted to donate maybe monetarily, is there a way to do that? Yes, we, if, if we go online, you'll see a donate button. Okay. Or they can give us a call. And we gonna be glad to do what we need to do to get. Okay, so I see a couple of people watching. I see you, Pastor Smith, <laughs> uh, watching here. Uh, you know, we we love. You know, it's 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 been such a blessing to represent all you guys on Jensen Drive. Uh, hey, Pastor, Pastor, Smith. Hey, Pastor, Pastor Smith. Smith. Pastor Smith. Hi there. Hey, Pastor Smith. <laughs> Pastor Smith. Pastor Stearns. Pastor Russell. I mean, this is Pastor Lopez. Yes. Um, but. <laughs> Got um, some of the workers right there coming in. Good morning. Volunteers. Good morning. Happy holidays.
Okay, so we'll be giving out those who don't have trees and on it, Christmas, Christmas on it. Okay. We'll be able to do that. And these are all the toys that we're going to be giving out today. So these are toys given out today, guys. Uh, we got our law enforcement uh, community members over there, Harris County Sheriff's Department. Uh, and um, so you you about ready to start. No, okay. Pass. Okay. And you see the different classes for the morning. Coming out, they will be the honor boards. All right. Good morning. Good to see y'all. Here is all the bikes. All the bikes for people. Uh, and these folks pre-registered then. They had to pre-register. Yes, sir. Um, and so... And we want to make sure we get it in the hands of the people who really need it. Right. Okay. Well, there's a line. We're about to start. So thank start. you. You know right. what we do. We have been there for you. We've been there through COVID. We've been there for those who serve us. And now we are here for the children with our Back to School Drive, hosted by Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and State Representative Harold Dutton. Come out and get your kids the tools they need to succeed. It is absolutely free. We are doing our part to make this world a better place for our children. And one way you can do the same is to exercise your right to vote the right people into office. We've given over 600 150 backpacks stacked full of supplies and still have more to go. So come with your kids and pick up what they need. And please do remember to vote and remind your friends and family to do so as well. You have a voice, so use it. Early voting begins October 13th and ends on October 30th. General and special elections are held on November 3rd. Let's get out and make our voices heard. We look forward to seeing you here. During this crisis, Houstonians are pitching in in droves really to help residents in need. And Fox 26's Dominic Keith is joining us with how help for some is arriving right at their front door. A number of groups and organizations are now doing this, making house calls, taking food and other necessities to people who can't leave home because of the threat of COVID-19, such as the elderly. Now, some who are in need who can get out, they are doing this. It's a different kind of drive through. They're getting four types of meat, which is uh, ham, chicken, chicken mm -hmm. uh, ground beef, ground beef and, pork. and pork. They're getting eggs. They're getting uh, all different kind of canned goods. A type of fast food pickup that isn't what we're used to, and no one knows how long it may be the new normal. I'm okay, you know, and I can handle it if it's just another month or two. Other than that, I don't know. Living Water Ministries here in Northeast Harris County has given hundreds of boxes of food, fruit, milk, and toiletries. We appreciate it, and I'm so happy because the stuff that we need to go buy, we can't even get it. It has doubled the normal vital by almost triple. And that's putting a strain on the church's Joseph House Pantry. Right now, what we need is some more uh, toilet paper. We did about 600 uh, rolls out the other day. Uh, we need some hand sanitizer. They could also use more volunteers. A number of deputies have come to help. If we're out giving out boxes or whatever the church needs us to do to make sure that the citizens at this time and this crisis know that we're here in support of them. The group is now working with the Houston Food Bank to distribute necessities, but they are short on a number of things, including water and canned goods. The church is on Jensen at Cross Timbers and will be giving items again the rest of the week from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'm Donnelly Keith, Fox 26 News.
Let's go all the way around this side where the uh, gentleman standing at over there. And we'll have a covered area so that way the people who push, push, push in the basket won't turn around and, and, and they can be able to get to their cars real easy. Over here we're going. Well, when it, when it rains, it, it, it turns around and there's a lot of things that's going on. Uh, we already cleaned up the floor here from where all the wash in from this area over here. We have a lot of uh, dirt, mud funnel, mud that we're going to have to trample through today. And the cars have to come in and they got to go through all of that. You'll see the, the, the mud tracks. I need this air, whole area right here uh, concreted. We're trying to find a way, means of how to get it done, uh, to raise the funds on doing it. Uh, the program that's going to be in February, the third Sunday, is to help allocate money for all of this, what we're doing here. You can see over here how we are setting in the, in the mud. Over here, I'm trying to get this stuff done. And this is the area they're going to have to come through. Like this. And so we want to turn around and concrete this back this way. We, we're looking to turn around and expand. We need a uh, wall of storage space. So over here where we got the two containers that were donated to us by Orlando Sanchez. Uh, we were running for uh, city controller's office. Uh, he donated these two trailers and we want to cover the center of it and the over that to make more storage room. Uh, we just got a deal with Amazon, uh, so we want to make sure that we have a place to keep it before and get it everything repaired, go through it to make sure before we, it's good in working order before we give it out to, uh, to the community. Is this your first time here? Do you, what do you think about Joseph's house? You love him? They assist you and give you the things that you're needing? Okay, how about the hospitality? Really nice. All right, thank you for stopping by. Enjoy, have a blessed day. I like it. I like coming here. Everything is nice, orderly, and decent, and I love it. Thank you so much. Now I know for about uh, about seven years <clears throat> here at this building. Actually, we started over off Addison Road, but we continued when we moved over here uh, off of Justin Drive. And what we call this is uh, Joseph House, or actually Living Waters subsidiary uh, Joseph House uh, Pantry. And what it is, it's community food pantry where we feed the community every second, third, and fourth Thursday uh, of the month. Now we have it broken down into divisions and we have like the, uh, the second Thursday of each month is where we take care of our handicapped, elderly, and disabled. In the third Thursday, this cater to our veterans and our veterans only. And as you see today, which is the fourth Thursday, is the general population. And this is where everybody could come uh, and come to the pantry. And if you have uh, missed your designated day, then you can you have another opportunity to come today and uh, receive food or receive services from us. And what we hear, not only do we just give our food, but we also give our household uh, household needs items, such as small appliances. We give our cleaning supplies. We give bedding. We give um, shoes and we give clothing as well, too. And, of course, all of these things are brand new. And we'd like to also give a shout-out to our partners, which is Walmart, um, Amazon, 360, and various other partners that help us uh, provide for the community. All right, here at uh, Living Waters uh, Joseph House area, what we do is the, we are open here to the public Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of every week for uh, 10 to 2 o'clock uh, each day on our Thursdays. The second Thursday is for the elderly and handicapped. The third Thursday is for the veterans and the fourth Thursday for the general population. Yet they are able to come throughout the month, twice a month here to get food, clothes, uh, small appliances. They're able to get gardening uh, uh, tools. They're able to get dog food, bicycles, toys, blender, 
this is what we'll end up doing here in this in this area, not only for uh, the Trinity Garden area, not only for the nearby area, but we're doing this for, for the entire city of Houston. Matter of fact, we are helping folks from all the way from Huntsville to Beaumont. And this is what we do. God called us to do this thing, and we're trying to do it with all our might. But we can't do it without you. Our plans here now is to extend over this area here. We are going to try to do, uh, we're going to do uh, a place over here to where we can do storage. And then to the back, we are, what we're going to do is we're going to put a 75 by 100 building to the back to where we can turn around and give out hot showers, hot meals, and change your clothes. They may get haircuts. These are for the people who are uh, at a place where they're on the streets. They'll be able to come in and change clothes, get their hair done, get their nails done, get stuff like that done. Do Get on the computer, look for jobs, looking for assistance. Here at Living Water, what we can also do, we're helping with Social Security, help you, helping you with phones, helping you with uh, different areas of trying to with your homes, with your homes. And we even started a new deal to where uh, we uh, allow and they allow us to be a dealership with U-Haul. Then we started another deal where we consummated it this morning to where those college students that need vehicles, those elderly people who need vehicles, they have vehicles that have is tore up and the case is no more good. We're going to be in a place where we will give them a grant. The actual grant will be a vehicle, the car, or the little small uh, vehicle that they will need to get around in. These are some of the programs that we're doing. We have many partners, uh, Apostle Gibbard with True, the True Word. We have other partners that are coming on board. And we're, about to, we're about to expand this thing all over Houston. And from Houston, we're going uh, throughout the Texas. From our Texas, we're already looking at Louisiana. We talked to the mayor there, getting ready to open up a place there uh, under the direction of one of our other partners, uh, Dr. and Apostle uh, Dorsey. He'll be looking at, at the prison system there, reformation of that particular place, and then we're spreading. With the grace of God doing what he's doing, we're going to try around and make it. With your help, we can get there. This is my Good friend, mighty God, help us. Uh, uh, Mr. Chris Diaz had uh, enough trust in us, enough faith in us to, to let us borrow him. And he's here to show, us, to show their support and what they're doing. Over here he is uh, another fine gentleman. Uh, you might know him as uh, uh, Councilman Yarbrough, Michael Yarbrough here. I want to just let you know that. There are some good people that are dropping by, know what they do, help us get down when we just get done. You want to say the thing? Well, no, I just, I just know the task of turning the door to the public. It's a great thing for the community. It's very much needed that you see all the people coming in and out. And so we continue to support what he's doing here. I echo the sentiments of uh, former Councilman Yarbrough. Uh, Pastor Stern is doing a great job for the community. The Council's office will enjoy coming out and spend a little time with him. He gives uh, back, and that's what we like to do with the Council's office. Um, and it's just a great fellowship. Thank God for him. Oh God gives him many more visions in order to provide for the community. Thank you so much.
Joseph House Community Outreach Center, in partnership with Friends Help a Friend, the Helping Hands Foundation, invite you to Joseph House Community Giveaway, held October 8th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Joseph House Community Outreach Center, which is located at 7802 Jensen Drive in Houston, Texas. This event is hosted by Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and Harris County Constable Sherman Eagleton. Now you might be wondering at this point, what can I expect to get? Well, we still have over 900 backpacks filled to the brim with school supplies for your children. And while supplies last for our single parents, we also have strollers, carriages, diapers, baby wipes, in addition to a selection of small kitchen appliances. We will also have a selection of children's toys, perfect for children aged two through 12. Did I forget to mention this event is held on a regular pantry day? This means you can also get a box filled with all the food necessities you will need to help you through these trying times. Exciting, right? We are so happy to be able to provide you with this variety of necessities, and we want every single person who is eligible to walk away with everything we can provide to them. That's why before you show up to claim your gifts, there are a few things you'll need to have with you. Everyone who comes will need to show a valid form of identification. This includes a non-expired state-issued driver's license, identification card, or passport. In addition, you will need to show one of the following. Either a veteran's award letter, a work source letter, a food stamp award letter, a disability award letter, or a social security award letter. And for the toys, you will need to show either a report card, a food stamp award letter, or proof of child in home and age. Last but not least, if unemployed or recently laid off, you will need to show proof of such. And if receiving temporary assistance for needy families, you must also show that award letter. All items brought as proof of eligibility must be current and unexpired. Nothing expired or from previous calendar years will be accepted. And finally, masks are required for service at all times at our pantry. In our unwavering efforts to support our community, we must also protect it. Please share this with anyone you know who can benefit from this incredible giveaway. On behalf of Joseph House Community Outreach Center and Friends Help a Friend, the Helping Hands Foundation, as well as our esteemed host, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and Harris County Constable Sherman Eagleton, we look forward to seeing you here.